Hey everyone, today I'm going to walk you through working with queues in C++. Queues are implemented as container adapters that are meant to adapt the DQ container to provide first in, first out behavior. To illustrate how just how queues work, we're going to build a simple program that will print out the members of a queue. So to do this, we'll build out our basic C++ program. We'll include IOStream and we'll also include queue. And then we'll make sure that we're using the standard namespace. So inside our main function, we're going to want to declare our queue. We do this with the following syntax. This will be a queue of type int, and we'll call it nums for numbers. And now in order to populate our queue, we'll, we can use the built-in push function. And for the first member, we'll push in one. And then for the second, we'll push in two and for the third, we'll push in three. Now with our queue populated, we'll want to call a function, which we'll call print. And this will print the queue out to our user. And now we're going to want to build this function void print and then within the parameter we'll write q of type int we'll call this nums again and now within our print function we'll have a while loop that checks against our nums q and this dot empty is another built-in function for the q so while our nums queue is not empty, we will print out nums.front. It's another built-in that will pull from the, the first item of the, of the queue. This is a first in, first out container adapter, just to remind you. And then we'll end the line. And then we'll use nums.pop, another built-in, to iterate through our queue. So we'll give this a save. We'll compile our code. And when we run our code, we're given one, two, and three, which are the members of our nums queue. So there you can see the basics of implementing a queue in your C++ code. This first in, first out characteristic of queues comes in handy when writing code for processes that follow a strict schedule. A queue could be used in code that provides support, support tickets to a line of virtual customers, uh, or uh, CPU scheduling, and disk scheduling as well. Wherever data is transferred asynchronously between two processes, queues are sure to be found. So there you go. That's the basics of using queues in your C++ code. Thanks for watching.